Millions of children across the country are playing sports this fall, and for parents, the risk of injury is often top of mind. When it comes to football, concussions are probably the first worry. But as Dave Davis found out, there are other injuries that one expert calls the hidden cost of sports. For the better part of the last decade, the concussion risks associated with playing football have been topics of national discussion. Former college and pro player Slade Norris low. thinks that dialogue has actually helped the game. It's impacted it in the best way possible. I mean, look at all the new helmet companies springing up. You know, everything we're doing, the NFL is changing their rules, making small tweaks every single year, thinking about player safety. But experts and doctors say that there are other types of injuries that need parents and players' attention, injuries that can have lifelong consequences, and some of them are preventable. The physicians at Nationwide Children's say sports injuries are the second leading cause of ER visits in children and teens. They say when you combine emergency and non-emergency visits, about 7 million young people are getting checked out for sports injuries every year. They say many of these injuries are from overuse or intense specialization in one sport from an early age. That can lead, they say, to stress fractures, weak or inflamed joints and tendons, and so many more. I think that's just kind of the hidden cost of sports as well is just, you know, specializing too much in one sport and just continuing to do it over and over again and not having that that support of how do you develop the right way from a performance perspective. Chase Curtis founded Sway Medical in Tulsa almost a decade ago, and Sway's app is now used by school sports programs around the country. It can test for brain function. The left side is longer than the right side, so I would tap on the left side of the screen. But the app also tests for balance, something Chase says is becoming increasingly relevant for today's young athletes, both in youth and pro sports. Because athletes are special in one sport and they do the same thing over and over again. So somebody who might have, you know, weak hamstrings, you're going to see them lean forward more. And then we can identify that just through the sensor. When you ask Slade Norris about preventing injuries, the nine on nine league he helps run called NFX focuses on solid fundamentals. They use soft helmets and pads without tackling so players can learn the game without the risk of getting hurt. So with these kids, we're teaching everybody a hands-first approach to blocking. Every time they reach an opponent, it is a hands-first approach. There's a lot of good coaches, and it teaches you techniques that you know here, and it will help you in your tackle football game, too. And I think parents, especially those that have had athletes that have those serious injuries, know how much that affects their ability to continue to play in athletics and then just the long-term orthopedic issues. Experts say there are ways of preventing these type of overuse injuries, including limiting repetitive movements like a pitch count in baseball, for example, making sure your gear fits properly, and investing in an athletic trainer or medical staff member. In Tulsa, Dave Davis, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.